What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm down at Flow Toyota of Statesville and we're gonna take a look at the 2020 Toyota Camry TRD. Huge shout out to them for providing this car for me today. All of their contact information will be in the description below. Definitely check out their website. But this model here is finished off in white with the midnight black accents and has an MSRP right around $34,000. Underneath the hood of the Camry, this comes with a three and a half liter V6 engine. It is paired to an eight speed automatic and has steering wheel mounted paddle shifters. This engine produces 301 horsepower at 6,600 RPM and provides you with 267 pound-feet of torque at 4,700 RPM. This is front wheel drive. It weighs around 3,500 pounds. Zero to 60 is just shy of the six second mark. And I found the top speed of this to be 135 miles an hour. And this has a fuel capacity of 16 gallons, which will provide about 22 miles per gallon in the city and 32 miles on the highway. The wheelbase on the Camry measures 111.2 inches. It has an overall length of 192.7 inches. The width is 72.4 and it has a height of 56.9 inches. As we start up front on the all new 2020 Toyota Camry TRD, you'll notice that this has LED headlights along with LED daytime running lights. Down below as part of the TRD package, this has an aero kit, so you'll see the front lip here and it flows nicely to the hourglass shaped grille, which is also finished off in the midnight black. There's cutouts in it as well to provide more cooling to the engine. You'll see the Toyota badge nicely placed in the center. Everything on the front end just has a nice design to it. There's great contoured lines you can see on the outside of the grille here, right around the fog light housings on each side. And then as we make our way up to the hood, it features clean lines running throughout it. Moving to the side of the 2020 TRD, there's a lot of changes on this model that make it stand apart from the base model Camry. We'll start off with the 19 inch matte black wheels. They are about three pounds lighter and a half inch wider than the XSC model, along with having a nice multi-spoke design to them and the red TRD badge right in the center cab. Also new, the front brakes get an extra piston. So this now has two piston brakes up front and the rotors are about 0.9 inches larger as well. So it gives it a little bit better braking abilities. As you can see, the aero kit also extends down the side skirts and you can see there's a red trim on them and the side mirrors are also finished off in midnight black as well. The biggest change for the 2020 TRD is the ride height has been dropped about half an inch. It also provides it with stiffer shocks and bespoke internal valving, bump stops, and stiffer rebound springs. There's also thicker solid anti-roll bars for both front and rear, and this will reduce the body roll by 44% in the front and 67% in the rear. This also has three extra underbody braces to add to that support. And to finish up with the side profile, you can see there's a nice distinctive line running about the height of the door handles. There's also one through the center of the door. Just gives it a very clean appearance from the side. And to finish off in the rear, the biggest change for the 2020 Camry TRD is the trunk mounted spoiler. It's finished off in midnight black and works very well with the rear end of the vehicle. You can see all the badges have been blacked out with the red TRD badge, however, off to the right side. This has LED taillights. The backup camera is nicely placed underneath the M and Camry. This also has a trunk release just to the right side of the Y. Down below, this has a midnight black diffuser along with the catback TRD exhaust. That's gonna wrap it up for the exterior walk around on the 2020 Toyota Camry TRD. Very nice family sporty sedan. It's not overdone by any means. I really like the spoiler. I think it works really well on the rear end here. It's nothing crazy. It's a nice small size pedestal spoiler. Has the cat back exhaust and a really nice set of wheels. So if you're looking for something that's sporty and affordable, the Camry is definitely a good option. But now let's go ahead and check out the interior. I have the vehicle locked. Just place my hand on the door handle and it will automatically unlock. Starting off with the door panel, you'll see a nice trim piece running just behind the release handle. This has automatic windows all around along with the side mirror adjustments just in front of that. There's some storage space and cup holder storage space on the bottom side. This does have a six speaker audio sound system. As we make our way to the inside, you'll see TRD embroidered on the headrest along with red stitching and red accents running throughout it. These are the Sport Fabric soft tech seats. So they have a combination of leather and fabric running on the inside. There's also red seat belts, which is a really nice touch to see. Of course, these have multiple way adjustability and lumbar support on the side. And then down below, you can see Camry TRD on the floor mats along with the red trim running around them. So hopping into the driver's seat of the 2020 Camry TRD, let's start off with the leather wrap steering wheel. It has nice red stitching running throughout the middle section of it, gives it a very nice look. You have a comfortable hand position on both sides with easy access to the paddle shifters. 
They're actually quite large, finished off in black. Looking at all of the controls that you have to use, over to the left side, you have things like Bluetooth and volume for the radio. There's also a pad here that will control the center screen, which we'll get to here soon. On the right side of the steering wheel, you have things like your mode and tuning for the radio. You have your cruise and radar cruise control, along with the lane keeping assist button. As we make our way to the left side of the steering wheel, you have things like traction control, along with your automatic headlights. You can open up the rear trunk along with your gas cap. There's a little bit of a storage compartment here for something small like your key fob or something like that. So with the vehicle on, you'll see all of the gauges are red. On the left side is the tack and engine temperature. You have your speedometer and fuel gauge off and to the right side. You can see things like your average miles per hour. We can scroll down to your average MPG. You have your miles until empty and you can see your average again. There's an eco meter so you can see basically how you're driving the vehicle. You can pull up your miles per hour in the center if you'd like. You have your tire pressure, we can scroll over. You can turn on and off your lane keeping assist along with the radar cruise. You can see any messages. You can turn on and off all of the different technology features. Looking at the center screen now, we're gonna start off on the home setting. This is configurable. Right now it's showing audio on the top left your phone if that was paired and it's also showing the range and average mpg and you can move these around which is nice to configure we can go over to menu so you can look at your audio your phone different apps projection is how you can view things from your phone on the center screen which is very nice to see we can go into setup and you can customize everything from bluetooth to your voice recognition there's an audio button on the left side as well along with a map you have your power and volume and tuning for the radio and then over to the right side you have shortcuts to your phone if that was paired again along with different apps and you have your seek and track for other options just below that we have a nice lcd screen for all of the climate controls on the right side is the fan speed so just by turning that up you can see everything light up we have the temperature on the left side. You have where you'd like the air to go in the middle along with some other research buttons. And then we can easily just shut that off. Before we move on to the storage space down below, there's this nice trim piece that separates everything that we just went over from everything down in the center console. I think it gives it a really clean look. But moving down below, you'll see there's a USB port along with a 12 volt on one side. There's this storage space here that we can easily open up to provide even more storage space. And you just push on that, it will automatically close up. There's two cup holders off and to the right, and then looking at the leather wrap shifter, you can see TRD on the top section, along with red stitching running down it. And then by pulling the trigger on the front, we can go ahead and put it into reverse. You'll see the backup camera light up with three guidelines. The red line is at 12 inches, second line is 24 inches, and the last one is 36 inches. So it's very nice graphics. And then behind that, you'll see three different driving modes. We have Eco, Normal, and Sport. Just by pushing on Eco, you'll see Eco mode appear. Normal will make that disappear. And then pushing on Sport mode, you'll see everything turn red along with Sport down at the bottom. Just behind that, there's a brake hold feature along with the electronic parking brake. And then as we make our way to the center, we'll open up the armrest here. You have plenty of storage space with two USBs in the front section. So definitely a lot of room. As we make our way over to the glove box, you have enough space for anything that needs to go there. You can see there's another trim piece running above that with more red stitching, gives it a really clean look. And then we'll go ahead and take one last look at these seats with all the red accents and the red seat belts. Really nice pattern running down the middle of them. As we make our way up to the top, there's a sunglass holder in the back side, along with all of your dome lights. Now it's time to take a look at the rear seating and the door panels finished off just like up front. You have that nice trim piece along with your automatic window and a little bit of storage space down in the bottom side. This is a five seater sedan, so let's go ahead and hop in. All right, so once in the back seat of the Camry, there's actually a good amount of leg room. I have the front seat set at my height, which is five foot 10. Plenty of leg room. You can see all of the space in front of my knees. And then I have about three or four inches above my head. So it's pretty roomy in the back. I could even kind of slouch down and relax if I wanted to. Behind both front seats, we have some storage pockets here for anything that you need to place there, along with a little bit of room behind the center console area. And then down below that, you have two USBs. So you have some nice amenities for the back seat passengers. Seats are very comfortable. I like the armrest on the door here. You can definitely go for a long, comfortable ride in the back. And then the attention to detail is just like up front. You have red seat belts with the nice pattern running down the center of them and the red stripe. Plenty of visibility out of the back glass for people in the rear. And then if I make my way to the center seat, which is usually the most uncomfortable for passengers in a sedan, you actually have a good amount of legroom as well. This seat is a little bit farther back than the driver's seat. 
but again, I have about an inch or two above my head, so it's actually pretty comfortable even in the middle seat. And last up, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the rear storage space. There's three different ways that you can get in. There's a button on the key fob, there's one on the interior as I showed you earlier, or you can push on the electronic button to the right of the Y, it will automatically open up. Inside here, you have about 15 cubic feet of storage space, and I really like how there's a cutout to the right side and the left side, gives you a little bit more room if you need to put anything in the back sideways. So there's definitely plenty of room back here, even if you have the vehicle fully loaded with people, you can put all of their stuff in the back. So driving the 2020 Toyota Camry TRD, the first thing that I actually noticed is looking at the visibility with the rear spoiler. Since this does have a pretty aggressive a spoiler for a family sedan, uh, what I noticed is that the dip in it actually goes underneath the bulge in the back. I believe that's a speaker just behind the back headrest. And so I can see the spoiler on each side of that, but it dips down to where visibility is not really impaired. I can see just the top section of the spoiler and I can't see the sides of it out of both side mirrors. So I think that's pretty cool to see, especially in the Camry, but it doesn't hinder visibility at all. Visibility is actually pretty good all around. I like how the pillars up front are very thin. You can see on both sides, um, in front of both side mirrors, I should say. So that gives you a little bit more visibility, especially on that passenger side. And even looking over my left shoulder, I can see out of the back glass, so the one that doesn't roll down over my left shoulder there. So it's really easy to see all around. But now just cruising in the Camry. I have driven a 2020 Camry before. I will link that video down below. I believe it was an XSE. That was a, a while back. Uh, but now driving the TRD version, I'm not going to be able to test this or at least drive back to back to compare how all the suspension works in the TRD. But from what I've read, it kind of gives it a little bit more sporty aspect to it. Uh, you have the little bit larger brake rotors up front with more pistons up front as well a lower ride height so it will perform better be a little bit more sportier than a base camry so putting it into eco or sport mode is not going to change how the suspension rides that's just going to give you better input and in your throttle response uh, but just going over some of these bumps in the road here it's very comfortable i have no complaints with it but taking a turn here giving it a little bit of gas there in normal mode i mean it handled that turn well i'm not doing anything crazy just the normal speed limit here and uh, it, it rides really nice. I'm impressed with, even for a lower ride height, a little bit stiffer suspension, I have no complaints with it. Taking this bump right here, it absorbs them well. So I really like how they've refined the Camry for the TRD model, but at the same time, you're not losing anything for a family sedan. It's still a normal family sedan that has a little bit more sporty aspect to it. So you have a little bit better looks with the wheels and that spoiler. You have all the midnight black accents. And the, what I forgot to mention is the midnight black roof. So it's really nice, especially on the white. That contrast gives it a really nice look for a sedan. So coming to a stoplight here, might as well go over all the interior materials, all the quality of everything. We already went over the steering wheel with the leather, has a really nice feel to it. I like all of the piano black in the center. It just kind of sets it apart from this gray trim piece that runs underneath it. You have plenty of storage space up front here along within the center console here. Everything just has a really nice feel to it. Even these Softex leather seats, they're very comfortable. I like the pattern on the back of them. You have nice trim and more stitching over on the passenger side and then the same attention to detail on the back. Let's go ahead and put it over into sport mode. Just give it a little bit of gas compared to normal. <laughs> For a family sedan, this is all you really need. It gets up and goes pretty quick there. Let's go ahead and pop it over into the manual mode. <laughs> you can hear a little bit from that catback TRD exhaust. It's not overly aggressive for a family sedan. You know, the shift points are very responsive. As soon as I click on that paddle or downshift, you can see the tack moving. So they are, they are functional, which is nice for, especially in the Camry, that's pretty cool. Uh, but they're not just click it and wait for it to shift. As soon as I hit it, next gear, next gear and the tack drops. So that's impressive. <laughs> just taking it around this turn at normal speeds. I'm sure there's a good difference over the base Camry with this new suspension setup. You could take this out on some back mountain roads and have a nice spirited drive in it. 
That is pretty awesome. So putting it into Eco now, you can definitely hear or feel the whole vehicle kind of shut down just a little bit, obviously to save on your MPG, but then you can go right into sport mode and it livens up a little bit. You get more throttle response. So it's definitely cool that you can toggle between that. But I think that's gonna wrap it up for my walk around review and test drive in the 2020 Toyota Camry TRD. Once again, huge shout out to Flow Toyota of Statesville for providing this vehicle for me today. All their contact information and their website will be down in the description below. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.